you yeah. met LeBron. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Whoa. He's uh, he's tweeting about you all the time. So what's that relationship? Yeah, it's real cool. He's a big brother of mine now, and uh, you know, I can uh, I can reach out to him anytime. You know, I have a question about you know the future or just anything for real, man. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, he's just graduated college. He's just been given this this address book, basically, full of you know the most famous and most influential people in the world, and he's got access to them, complete access. This is the world of American sport. This is the world of college football. It is next level, bro. Right, there's one thing we need to do before we begin. Chase Young, my friend, welcome to your reaction video. It was always gonna happen. Today's video I'm extremely excited about. As you saw in the previous video, we looked at Chase Young. I told his story. He is huge, clearly. He's agile as well. He's fast, but I don't know exactly how fast. He set basically every single record for defensive ends at Ohio State. He basically won every single award for a defensive player and for defensive ends at Ohio State. He did not train at the Combine because he didn't want to become a Combine player. And he obviously believed that he proved himself enough during his three seasons at Ohio State, which clearly was the right decision because he still went pick number two. And if he had have gone to the Combine, you know, anything could have happened. But it would have been good. It would have been really fun to see him perform with a 40 yard dash, vertical, and broad jump. But, we're gonna do our very best to find out all we need to find out today. So what I've done is I've written in Chase Young's name into YouTube, as I normally do. And we're gonna scroll for the first time and see what's there. I assume I'm gonna watch this top one, which is nine minutes by Sick Edits HD. It's got 1.1 million views and it's five months old. We've got Just Bomb Productions, 91,000 views. That's one month old, about 10 minutes. We've got Chase Young goes number two overall to Washington Redskins. Well, we've seen that. Chase Young explains why he's not participating in combine workouts. You know what? Before we see his highlights, I actually want to know, why did Chase Young not work out? Chase Young, who is the number one... I want to hear it from the horse's mouth. Wow. Yeah, swear to God, I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane. is quite go get it like me. Wow. Please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. With Chase Young, who is the number one prospect on Daniel Jeremiah's board. He was the number one prospect I had in our top ten combine prospects. And he's our number one guest in the 9 a.m. hour. Chase Young, welcome to Good Morning Football. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's great having you here. What's this week been like for you? I know it's been a whirlwind, but... Your impressions. Okay, first impressions. Either Chase Young's seat is a foot shorter than the host here, or the host is seven foot eight. The guy who everyone has eyes on. Um, it's, it's, it's been definitely been crazy. You know, they got us doing a lot of stuff. You know, all these meetings, formal, informal. But it's cool. You know, it's something I always dreamed about when I was young. And I'm just happy to be here, you know, and, and get a chance to see, you know, what, what goes on behind the scenes, you know, leading up to the drill. Yeah, and we've already come out and said you're not going to compete in the drills. What went into that decision, saying I'm just going to sit pretty, I'm good, I'll meet with all the teams, I'll do the medical evaluations, but there will be no 40-yard dash from Chase Young? I think uh, me and my team, you know, we decided to do that um, just because when, that, that day one, uh, when I stepped uh, on the field, I want to be football ready. You know, I'm I'm not trying to uh, compete to be, you know, a combine player. I want to compete to be a football player, you know. And uh, just know when I step on that field, you know, day one, I'll be ready. I love it. Uh, a complete prospect across the board. You had 16 and a half sacks in the Big Ten last year. You had four against Wisconsin. He's now confident, you're going man. The big you're going to the NFL. And he should be. What's the thing that you need to do to make your game even better and ready for the NFL? I'll just say stay focused. Uh, hard work, dedication, something I go by. And, uh, you know, just keep my head down and keep pushing like I did in college, man. It's, I feel like that's, a, that's, that's, that's the main thing I have to do. I talk to a lot of these GMs and these scouts, and they say, this kid is, is the perfect defensive prospect. And people have been talking to you about these glowing terms. How do you level expectations? How do you stay humble? Oh, here we go. It's first look at him. All the Fuck you. Like, no, you don't want that guy coming down on you. Draft. Number one in the mock draft. As that guy in your shoes, how do you handle it? Um, I think I have a good team around me. Um, uh, my coach in college, uh, Coach Larry Johnson, um, he helped me out a lot but, uh, by canceling out all the noise. And I, I think I give a lot of credit to myself. So he played um, number I two. I actually didn't even, I didn't even realize that defensive players could play number two. Outside noise. Um, you know, they hate all the Braves, so I think, uh, you know, that was just me growing up all my life, you know, just not paying attention to outside noise, and, uh, you know, it, it definitely helped me a lot during my career. It's got to be some pretty cool things, though, because I, 
I got a friend who lives out in L.A. and he texts me. He goes, I think Chase Young's at the Laker game. And yes, Chase Young was at the Laker game. Who did you meet at the Laker game last uh, week? I met uh, Denzel Washington. Uh, <laughs> it, it was crazy. Uh, Baron Davis, Gary Payton, Mark Wahlberg was there. Um, it, it was definitely a cool scene, man. Wow. I was, I was definitely blessed. I had a whole conversation with Denzel Washington. And, uh, what does he, Denzel Washington tell Chase Young? I love this. Um, he told me, uh, he told me, um, use football as a platform. He said, football is not my purpose. Use it as a platform. And, uh, you know, as I use it as a platform, I'll find my purpose. And he told me when I find my purpose, you know, just, just, just keep going. Damn, that's some good advice. That is advice that a lot of college football players would hopefully get, but, you know, a lot of them probably wouldn't get until they're out of football and they're, they're struggling with their purpose in life. But Chase Young, before he's even begun his NFL career, has been told by one of the most famous fucking actors in the world to never put football on a pedestal. Always know who you are, deep down, and know that football's not everything, and to use it as a platform. He's going to have millions of followers on social media. He is going to have a massive, massive platform to share anything on. It seems as if he's going to be a great, great role model, and that's one of the main things that makes up a successful football player. It's so inspiring. Yeah. And, it's, and I know LeBron James plays a big role in all of you Ohio guys. LeBron, have you yeah. met LeBron? Yeah, definitely, definitely. What? He's, uh, he's tweeting about you all the time. So what's that relationship? Yeah, it's real cool. He's a big brother of mine now. And, uh, you know, I can uh, I can reach out to him anytime. You know, I have a question about, you know, the future or just anything for real, man. Yeah. Fuck! Uh, he's just graduated college. He's just been given this, this address book, basically, full of... You know, the most famous and most influential people in the world. And he's got access to them. Complete access. This is the world of American sport. This is the world of college football. It is next level, bro. Uh, I look at these Ohio State guys in the last couple of years. We know Marshawn Lattimore and Von Bell and Eli Apple. But the first defensive player taken in the last three drafts, whether it was Joey Bosa, Denzel Ward, or Nick Bosa, have been Ohio State defensive players. Mm. What is it about being a Buckeye that churns out all of these defensive players and at a high level, and not only a player, the number one player taken in defensively? Um, I think it goes to first, uh, Coach Mick and our strength staff, man. They, uh, they're great. Um, Coach Mick, uh, he personally pushes me. Um, we, pers we had personal conversations about, uh, you know, during my career about, you know, how I, I wanted to be and how, uh, you know, just big I wanted to get, just real detailed um, conversations. And uh, he pushed me. I think second goes our coaching staff, man. I feel like we had the best coaching staff in the country. Uh, my coach, Coach Larry Johnson, I feel like he's the best def defensive line coach, you know, that's on the planet right now. And I think, uh, yeah, just our coaching staff all around, man, it's, 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 it's real good over there. And I feel like this coming up here, they're going to be real good as well. This is going to be a great couple months for you. It's going to be a whirlwind. If they play. What do you want the prospective NFL teams and fans watching at home right now? We have fans of all 32 are watching. What do you want them to know about Chase Young if they're watching Good Morning Football this morning and if they're looking to take you in the top Good two, morning top football. three? Who Sounds knows? like a great program. Number one overall. Uh, just know that you know I'm a player. Hang on, man. Just before you, uh, just before you answer there, who hosts Good Morning Football? Hosted by Kay Adams, Nate. Hang on. Who's this? Nate or Peter? No, it's not Nate. Peter Schrager. There he is. How fucking tall is this guy? Peter Schrager is a sportscaster on Fox News. Born April twentieth, nineteen eighty-two. In addition, in addition to his game day coverage, he's a regular contributor to FS1 studio shows. Did Peter Schrager play in the NFL? Uh, no. Let's keep going. I just want to come and work my butt off. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a Spurs to come in there. Um, I'll be confident, not cocky. Um, and, and, you know, I'm a player who just wants to learn, you know, get under a, 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 a veteran. And just, and just confident, not coffee. And, and a player who wants to be the best. I've clearly got coffee on the line. On the mic. Oh my god. Coffee on the line. He said he's going to be confident, not cocky. And I like that. Uh, um, Means he's coachable. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a Spurs to come in there. Um, I'll be confident, not cocky. Um, and, and, you know, I'm a player who just wants to learn, you know, get under a, 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 a veteran and just and just learn the whole system and, and a player who wants to be the best. Nicknamed what? The Predator. The Predator. This guy's the coolest guy I've met here at the Combine. Chase Young, thank you so much for coming on the show. Good luck the next few weeks. And of course, as we head towards the NFL Draft, we'll be hearing your name a lot. Thank you, thank you. Bro, that, that, that host has to be tall as fuck. What we're going to do now, guys, is click this top video. I've decided it's got 1.1 million views. There's no other way. Chase Young, number two for Ohio State, the legendary. 
already legendary at Ohio State, Defensive Player of the Year, Chase Young.